What's good, everybody? You're now tuned into the Don't Hurt Yourself podcast. I'm your boy, JR. Welcome to episode one. Jumping right in. Got this coronavirus going on. Everybody's staying in the house. We ain't got shit to do. We got to do what we got to do. Wash your hands. Stay in the house. Whatever they say to do, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Because I don't know what the hell's going on. And I'm just not going to take no goddamn chance. I'm not going to take a chance. Now, there's some people like this guy. Oh, there's a conspiracy. This or that. Maybe so. But I'm not going to take no chance because I know my black ass will go out here and somebody going to cough on me. And next you know, I'm in the goddamn hospital. So I'm not going to take no chance. I'm going to wash my hands, wash my feet, wash my ass, and try to keep myself alive. And so could you. <laughs> and so should you. Now, you know, it's, it's crazy because don't, we don't know everything. Everybody thinks they're a goddamn scientist. Nobody knows shit. And if we don't, you don't know shit, I don't know shit. Nobody knows. So just stay your ass in the house. Stay quarantined. I haven't heard the word quarantine so much in forever. But it is what it is. Crazy times we're going through. So we're all in the house watching Netflix. And speaking of Netflix, I want to get into my review of this crazy ass show. And if you have not watched this show, I don't know what the hell you're not, what you're doing. If you have not watched The Tiger King starring Joe Exotic, I don't know what the fuck you're watching. This man was an absolute maniac slash genius, slash nutcase, slash crazy person, slash everything you could think of. This man, hoarding tigers, has a whole tiger zoo, monkeys, alligator, everything you could think of, he had. Everything you could think of. It was insane. He blowing up shit, blowing up trees, blowing up uh, anything, anything, shooting things, getting bit by tigers. People around him that's working with him, getting their legs cut off. People don't make looking crazy. One one man had, he had no legs. One lady had one arm. One man had no teeth. It just didn't make no goddamn sense. It was absolutely insane. Insane. Then he's trying to attack this woman named Carol Baskins. Lord have mercy. Wasn't she a crazy ass? Talking about. Hello, cats and kittens. Cats and kittens. I knew she was a nutcase when she said that. Cats and kittens. With a damn uh, uh, halo on her head. Nuts. Nuttier than a fruitcake. You can't make the shit up. The shit was absolutely in fucking sane. Then you got Joe Exotic, who is a gay hillbilly, gun-toting, country-singing, crazy man. It's just insane. Who has two boyfriends. How? I have no fucking idea. How he did it. But oh. Hold on. You know how he did it? Oh I remember. Meth. Crack. Cocaine. Weed. Anything you could think of. Just finding any homeless hobo on the street. To come work for him. And pay them next to nothing. Nothing. Feeding them Walmart meat. Not just any Walmart meat. Old Walmart meat. Old Walmart meat. Out of a trash can. I wish I would. I wish I would. I'll be damned. My parents would come back from the dead. If I ever, ever, ever did that in my life. You couldn't make the shit up. Then later on the man goes broke and feeds these thousand pound animals. Walmart meat. Come on, man. You just Look, there ain't no drug in the goddamn world that make me want to do that. To, come on. And then to come out later on that these motherfuckers not even gay. They weren't even gay. They were just doing it for the drugs. So they let they so you just let this man fuck you for some meth? Is look, I've never done meth a day in my life. But if the shit is that good, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. You can fucking keep it. You can keep the meth. Now going back to Carol Baskin's crazy ass. Cause everybody in this whole fucking shit's crazy. The other man who had a, was a polygamist. He had all these bitches just all in his own place. But it was all good with him. It was all good. Just everybody was nuts. Everybody doing the same thing. Everybody doing the same motherfucking shit to these animals. Trying to make a coin. Trying to make this money. But nobody give a fuck about the animals. All about the paper. All about the money. That's all it was about. That's it. Fuck the animals. But going back to Carol Baskins. Now, her husband goes missing for 20 years, and she don't give a shit. She does not care. 
Nobody knows where this man is. They talking about the nigga went to Costa Rica. Wherever he fucking bullshit. Wherever he was going, bullshit. You know where he was going? Right to them goddamn tigers. She fed them to them motherfucking tigers. Oh, I believe Oh, I believe Joe Exotic on that one. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Oh, th she took that man, fed him to the tigers, and killed the tiger, and that's what happened. Or, just like Joe Exotic said, she's, he's under that septic tank or went to that goddamn meat grinder. And she it doesn't make her no never mind. She did not fucking care about that man. She's just like, oh, well, they keep trying to say I did it. It wasn't me. Bullshit. It was you, lady. Because what do you usually do? Usually people who are there, if their significant other has gone missing, usually people mourn, shed a few tears. Uh, I don't know. Try to uh, prepare a funeral. No, 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 no. What does Carol Baskins do? The right thing to do. Go right to the will. Change the will. And what does she put in the motherfucking will? She puts, just in case of a disappearance. I ate, what kind of will is that? Who does that? Who puts that in their own will? Just in case I fucking disappear. This money goes to my wife. He was trying to leave her ass. She said, you ain't leaving shit. You about to go to these goddamn tigers and about to make these motherfucking tigers the best meal they ever motherfucking had. That's what she did. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, it gets worse. Joe Exotic hates Carol Baskin's ass so much and they hate each other. What does he do? He wants to kill the bitch. He wants to kill this bitch by any fucking means necessary. Making YouTube videos, threatening her. Everybody threatening her, talking about, I'm gonna, I want to kill her. I'm gonna, I want to do this, that, and the third. It's insane. Absolutely insane. And what does he do? He actually sends somebody to do it. Now, do I believe that that happened or was it a setup? Oh, I believe it was a motherfucking setup. But they still got his ass on tape. They got his ass. They got him. Once the FBI is involved, that's your ass. So there's three people I don't want to talk to. The FBI, the IRS, and the CI motherfucking A. I ain't trying to talk to these motherfuckers. But not Joe Exotic. Joe Exotic didn't give one give a damn. Didn't give a fuck until the end. Didn't give a fuck because his ass thought he was really going to get away with it. And just to add insult to injury, his little boy toy 18-year-old boyfriend, what does he do? Shoots himself on the motherfucking head. Shoots himself in the motherfucking head. For what? Playing well, it's just, you don't be playing with guns like that. You just don't do it. Ain't no bullet in here. Bang! In front of his campaign manager because I know I'm all over the place with this shit, but the whole story was so insane, he had to be all over the place. In front of his campaign manager because Joe Exotic ran for president, ran for governor, the nigga thought his ass was a motherfucking superstar. Well, you learn the hard way. I'm just going to fast forward the story. Everybody turns on his goddamn ass. Turns on his ass. And his ass is in jail for 20 motherfucking years. And his ass thought he'd get away with it. He said, I like my jury. Well, they didn't like you. That motherfuckers went in there for like two minutes. And was like, uh, he did it. Okay? 19 counts. Okay, then they found, okay, and just add more insult to injury, then they found all these dead animals on your yard, okay, that you shot. What else were they doing with the lions? They sure as hell, what do you think, they were giving us a lethal injection? Police. This, that's one of the most craziest documentaries I've ever watched a day in my motherfucking life. It was fascinating and crazy at the same damn time. There's three Netflix documentaries that did that. The Ted Bunny documentary. There's uh, uh, Miss, uh, uh, I can't think of the name, uh, uh, In Plain Sight, Abducted in Plain Sight, something like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Somebody out there know. And, and this one right here. But this was insane. You got to watch it. You got to see it for yourself. And Carol Baskins is still out there and, and, and still suing Joe Exotic probably. Took everything he had. Nigga does nothing. All that shit for motherfucking Nothing. Nothing. Now you're in federal goddamn prison. Like a caged animal. Ain't how life works. What goes around comes around. God damn. Oh, but don't worry, Carol Bastard. You go get yours, though. Oh, <laughs> you go get yours. Oh, they're going to go back and see what happened to your dead husband. Okay. They're going to find one of them, lus <laughs> them lions. Okay. With, you know, with that ate your husband's head. But who gives a damn, right? You're rich. 
And that, and that, and before I get off this topic, to her husband right now, you better get your ass out. Because if he did it, she did it to her, to him. He damn sure, she damn sure will do it to you. Now, moving on right now, I'm going to tell you one thing that has me shook right now. I don't know what's going on with the school districts around your area. But I'll tell you right motherfucking now. Okay, they said the kids ain't going back to school all school year. Now, I got three kids in my house. Districts can say whatever the fuck they want to say. Because my kids going to school. Okay, they going to school. I'm putting their backpacks on. They going to go up to this goddamn school. I don't give a damn who's there. I'll pack a lunch. You can go. Because you ain't going to keep driving me crazy during this virus and during this pandemic. You're not going to do it. Figure it out. Have a good day. Enjoy the school day. I don't know how. You know how to get home. So just stay there for about a good six hours and come back. Just come back safe. 